Back out on location, let's look at our first setup. We place the smoke down the trail to create a wall of smoke to simplify the background and create a silhouette of our man as he rides through on his horse. Our first light is a 2400 watt second head down the trail to backlight the smoke. This light's going to work until the sun becomes stronger and then we're going to turn it off. I really love this shot, it became one of my favorite of the day. We're now going to add a beauty dish with a grid on it on his face as he moves through the smoke to give us a little different look. My assistant's going to follow the rider with the beauty dish as he comes riding through the smoke. Here are some of the images we took with the beauty dish and the backlight. His face is a little more open. That beauty dish gives us a sense there's a little bit of sunlight on his face. It's a nice look. As the sun got high enough, we switched to video and shot our rider coming through the smoke. The sun is the only light source here. The sun is in a backlight position now is perfect for our next setup. We want to have the sun creating sun rays as it comes through the trees. You know, light you cannot see unless it's reflected onto some kind of substance like fog, atmosphere, dust, or smoke. Sun rays are around us all the time, but there's nothing for them to reflect off from, so we don't see them. We're going to add smoke and use the sun rays as an artistic element. Here's another example of our photograph with just the sun as a single light creating the sun rays.